Hi guys, how's it going on? Today in this video, we are going to work on Firebase authentication using email and password along with Google authentication. So you can see we have two sign in providers here. One is email slash password and one is Google. And I have already created some users here whom I can log in. Some, uh, some of those are with Google and some of those are with email and password. Let me just show you the project we are building in this video. I can register a new user. Let's just register someone. Let's say Itachi and let's create a random email for him. Let's say Itachi at gmail.com and let's just give it a password as well. In the password, I'm going to say 1234567789. If I click on register, I can register the user. And after registration is complete, we are going to go to slash dashboard where we will show the user name and his email. And we have a logout button. If I go to slash, you can see we are again coming to slash dashboard because the user is now authenticated. Even if he refreshes or tries to open the login page or register page or anything, it's not going to work okay here the route spelling is actually wrong let me just say register it's not gonna open we are gonna navigate to slash dashboard because the user has already logged in if i click on logout it should log me out i can show you the users here the user should be added if i click on refresh you should see itachi at gmail.com and we guess what we are also storing this data into cloud firestore if i refresh this page you will see Itachi in this user's collection as well. Let me just show you. You should be somewhere around here. Okay, not this one. These are all the users. Here you can see name Itachi, Itachi at gmail.com and auth provider is local. But what if I'm gonna log in with my Google account? This one. This, let's just do with this one, this email for now. Let's click on login with Google. And it will show all my email IDs. I'm gonna click on this, and then I'm gonna simply gonna log in, and you can see my slash dashboard. Same thing you can do for register as well. You can also register using Google. And if you don't know your password, you can enter your email here, and Google will send you an email resetting your password. Isn't that amazing? So let's get started without any further ado. So right now I'm on my VS code and I have already created a basic react JS app setup called firebase tux so first of all what I want you to do is do npm i firebase and react router dom all right you install both these dependencies for now and if we have to install anything else I will let you know so I have already done that I've installed firebase and react router dom right away and uh, we, let me show you the setup what i've already done to reduce the length of this video so i've already set up my react router dom for the login pages register pages reset pages and dashboard page if the user is authenticated we will directly navigate him to slash dashboard but if there is no authentication the user has not logged in we will show him the login page and if the user is new he can simply register he can reset or do anything he want the functionality we provide so let me show you this components first so if you go to the components folder, I have a login.jsx. Within the login.jsx, right now I've had no functionality. It's just a basic React.js setup to create the forms, all right? We have a use state for email, one for a password, and it looks something like this. There is no button functionality, nothing. We are just going to add some functionalities here in the studio part, all right? Same goes for the register, same goes for the reset. And within the dashboard, I have nothing. It's just this much, all right? Let me show you my React app for now. The, uh, when you open the localhost 3000 by using npm start you will see this thing with this code don't worry i'm going to provide the complete source code for this basic setup in the description and now let's just start setting up our firebase so within the source folder i'm going to create a new file called firebase.js and here now we are going to set up the firebase project so let's just simply go to firebase.com and let it load now let's go to the console and let's create a new project let's give a name for our project let's say firebase studs all right i can form that i'll use firebase all right just continue i don't need google analytics so let's just click on create project so now the project is ready so let's click on continue and it will open up our project 
and let's go to the web option and let's just give it a nickname let me say firebase auth touch this should be good enough i don't need firebase hosting for now let's click on register app and now as i already told you to install firebase it's not a need now you can copy this now or you can also copy this later so let's click on continue to console so now our project is ready now what i'm going to do is go to the build set up authentication click on get started and after this we need to set up the real-time i mean firestore database as well not real time there are two different things all right so for now let's just set up our authentication providers let's say email password and then we will create add new provider which will be google for this video all right let's give it an email for now let's say my own email and click on save So now we have provided authentication services to our project now what we are going to do is go to build and select firestore database not real-time database it's firestore database let's click on it and set this as well so click on create database and for now I'm starting in your test mode or let it be in production mode only I'm clicking on next and let the location be as it is it doesn't affect your project anyway and uh, let's just wait for it so now our database is set up so we don't need to worry about anything else let's go to rules and we need to change one thing here that is to like add data i'm gonna say if false just make it true all right let's click on publish now it should be good all right now what we are going to do is go to our react app in the vs code we have already created the firebase.js now what we need to do is get the firestore firebase config so go to project settings Alright, let's go to the project settings and in the project settings we are going to need this firebase config so I already have some imports in my clipboard beneath them I'm going to copy this firebase config and let's just paste it right here okay don't worry I will delete this project as after this video is done so there's nothing you can do with this thing and we have done some imports here you can get these imports just type it guys it's good like we are going to use initialize app to initialize our app and then we are going to say google auth provider get auth i'm going to use all this now all right so for now let's just start setting up this file so let's say const app is equals to initialize app and what is it obviously firebase config we have we have initialized our firebase app now and now what we are going to say is say const auth const auth const auth is equals to get auth which is our app right now after this we are going to set up the database let's say const db is equals to get firestore and we will pass in the app within there and after setting up the DB, we are going to set up our Google authentication provider. So what we're going to say, const Google provider is equals to new Google auth provider. All right. Now, after this, we are going to create some functions and later on export them. So the first function is sign in with Google. So I'm going to say const sign in with google not email and password it should be sign in with google and let's just create an asynchronous function here all right now within this function we are going to use try catch i'm going to use a snippet i will just simply say log an error here error dot message 
right let me fix the spelling mistake here error dot message now it is done now within this try first of all let's create a response let's create a variable called response where we can store our sign in option all right so i'm going to say response is equals to await for sign in with pop-up it should be pop-up right so here we will provide an auth and the google provider as well and after this this response is gonna give us a user after this thing is done so what we are going to do is let's say const const user is equals to response dot user we're gonna get a user here and now let's just create a query to set this user into the real time not real time it's fi the file store database all right so let's just create a query let me just say q is equals to let's create a query query within this we're going to say collection and within the collection the parameters will be the database and the name of the collection the name of the collection let's say it users and after this collection thing i'm going to say comma and let's just give it a query which is where we are going to say the user id is equals to user id is equals to our user dot uid all right we get this much and after this let's just create a variable called const let's say doc is equals to await and let's say get docs and within this get docs we are going to pass in our query and it will get the docs for us now we are going to say specify an if condition if the docs we're going to say docs all right this should be docs all right so because within the docs we are going to have a doc so let's say docs dot doc within the docs we have docs docs dot docs dot length it's not actually docs so within okay let me be clear here we have all these docs we are getting all the docs from here all right we are selecting the docs now and we are saying that if the length is zero all right if there is no element there what we are going to do is simple await and add a doc there right add a doc we are going to say collection within the collection we will pass in our database database then the name of the collection which is users and after this thing we're gonna say what the data like what we are gonna add so let's just say uid is equals to user dot uid and after this we're going to provide the name we're going to say name is equals to user dot display name and after this we're going to say auth provider auth provider we are going to just specify like this user is from google or he this guy is from the normal email password setup right we're going to say google auth provider is google for this guy and then we're going to set his email as well so we'll say user dot email that's it now it's safe all right let's just do one thing if there is an error i will also make an alert the same thing error dot message that's it all right now this function is complete now the, this is a complete function if there are any errors we can sort that out later by like debugging for now we have many more functions as well like now let's create login with email and password this is login with google sign in with google now let's just do with email and password this is going to be small this function doesn't take these many lines of code so let's just say log in with email and password all right and password fine now this is going to be asynchronous function as well but this guy is going to take some parameters which will be our email and password 
and now within this function what we are going to do is again use the try cat snippet and with the uh, in the cache I'll just simply say log error dot message and within this try I'm gonna simply say a single function await do sign in with email and password and what we are going to do is pass in the authentication then the email then the provider now guess what that is it it will log in with email and password that is it but to log in we need to have an account so for now let's just simply create register with email and password okay now let's just copy this because the name is almost gonna be similar I'll say cons we need to replace this login with register register with email and password that is cool let's just create a function asynchronous function right here async and the same thing here as well we are going to set up a name an email and a password all right now within this function let's create a try get snippet and here let's just say log error dot message and within this try we're gonna say const response we're gonna say get a response here and within this response what we're gonna say await we are gonna wait for a response from create user with email and password all these things we have imported right above so don't need to worry all right and then we're gonna say auth we're gonna provide it an auth we're gonna provide it a email and then we're gonna provide it a password guys let me be clear about one thing within the authentication you will find users as well but that thing is gonna have email and password only but as we are storing these users in the database as well that is the firestore database we are going to set the name into there not in the authentication part i'm going to show you once we log in or register some users all right okay now let's just do const user is equals to this response dot user all right now after this we're gonna say add doc right await and add a doc same thing as before let's say collection within this collection we are specifying our database which we have already defined above then we're gonna define our collection which is users and after that the data which we have to provide so first the UID which is the user dot UID when we do the registration with this function we're gonna get this stuff the uid we will get it name we are setting up automatically using the esx syntax that is this is same as name name this is this is same as this all right now after name we are going to set up the auth provider and the auth provider will be local let's say local because this time it is not google and then we are passing in the email of the user that is it now this function is complete now we have set up sign in with google login with email and password and register with email and password now we have what are the functions it might be reset we have one reset function and one should be like to log out we should also give the logout functionality so we need two more functions one to do the reset part and one to do the logout part all right so let's just say const const then let's just click on let's just name it logout and within the logout this is not gonna be any async function this is just a single line of code let's just say sign out we have the single function called sign out and within this just simply provide the auth by calling this function you can directly say logout that is it now let's just create the send password reset let's just say send password reset is equals to this is gonna be an async function not async it is actually async right now within this function we're gonna pass an email like to which email should Google send the request so we're gonna specify the email same try catch blog I'm just simply gonna say log 
the adder dot message that is it now within this try i'm going to say await and then simple part simple send password reset email that is it now within this we are going to provide our auth as well as our email right and then just make a simple alert to specify that the password reset link has been sent something like that so let's just say password reset email is sent it's safe now all the functions are ready now what we are going to do is we just now need to export all of them so let's just say export and what all are we going to export we will export the authentication the database the sign in with the google function and then we're going to pass in the login with email and password function then we are going to pass in the register with email and password and then the reset function send this one and at last we'll have logout function so we are going to send all these to other files so that we can use them right so now let's just start setting up the register.jsx all right so within this register.jsx which already have this much stuff here let's see how it looks so this is how it looks so what we are going to do is when set up some functions for these buttons right so i'm gonna go here and import some stuff for now so guys let me tell you because i forgot to tell you that i have done the styling in a single file which is this login.css for all of them and i have used the same class names for all the login register dashboard and the reset one as well within the same file to make it simple all right so now let's just import some functions here let's just import uh auth let's just import the auth the register with email okay let me just be this auth from uh, dot slash it's gonna be dot dot slash firebase and i want auth the spellings should be correct here so i have auth and then i'm gonna say register with email and password and then i'm gonna say sign in with google because this is register so we didn't we just need two functions here and now we have this email password and set name let's just import this navigate okay i've already imported this from react router dom and after this let's just create some functions all right but now i'm going to tell you something guys something real important okay one thing we have to install first that is npm i react firebase hooks all right we need to import this stuff to actually play with that hooks i mean auth all right react firebase hooks make sure the spelling is right and click enter all right now by the time it's installing let's create the function with under this to do thing let's say const register i'm gonna say uh, arrow function let's within this i'm gonna say like we want to register i will say if the name is not equals to empty if the name is there what you're going to do is register with email and password provide the name provide the email and provide the password that is it and then after the user is registered what we're going to do we're simply going to navigate the user to slash dashboard because the user's authentication has been completed we're going to navigate him if it's not the case we're going to say else alert enter your name that is it you can do anything here if you don't want name you can go with all three of them using or conditions or and conditions something like that as your wish for now this is it for the register function now we have to call it as soon as someone clicks here so this is registered register with email and password provider is not defined where 
in firebase.js provider is not defined in line 5651 so we're gonna see an error here so this is provider right this is not provider guys it should be password all right let's hit save now that it should be gone right now in the register.jsx what we are going to do is we have completed the register function and now what we are going to do is uh, let's just say use effect to like uh, see if the like the user is there or not let's save it for now and let's just see if that react firebase hooks has been installed or not here we have already installed react firebase hooks so the installation is complete and for now let's just go to the register button right where it is here the register button within this what I'm going to do is on click I want to launch a function on click just simply launch a function with the name register that is it now as soon as I enter the data you should see the user should be registered if I say let's just say Naruto and in the email let's just add a random email address let's say Naruto at the rate gmail.com and for now i'm setting password one two three four five six and seven eight nine okay not here here one two three four five six seven eight nine that is it let's click on register i'm going to dashboard right now and if we check here in the authentication we have the email here and the user uid right i told you that you will not get the name here to see the name we're going to go to firestore database and here you will see the name and the user UI and all that stuff which we have uploaded here the collection users within that we have a document and here we have auth provider email name UID right so everything is working awesome and now what we're gonna do is this sign in with Google right we have this button as well so we're gonna say on click on click directly call the function sign in with Google that is it guys call this function sign in with Google nothing need no, nothing to pass all right sign with Google that is it click on it and everything is done okay because we have we have no parameters for this function right in the firebase.js you can simply see sign in with Google no parameters so nothing you don't need to pass anything because it's just taking the auth and just directly doing it right now let's just hit save and let's see if we can sign in with google as well okay for now i need to like uh, log out first so let's just give a logout functionality let's just create a button here and just log out for a sec let's just create a button and let's just say on click i just want you to log me out so first of all we have to import this thing logout function and on click of this I want you to log me out and let's just say logout for now we want this button in the dashboard not here let's just control X from here I forgot and within and after this dashboard I'm gonna say this button and I'm gonna import this logout functionality right in here in the dashboard all right here I don't need these three for now let's just say logout here I have the button I'm gonna remove this button from here I've already done it hit save click on logout and the logout should be done if I refresh and go to register we are not set up the like if the author is not there then take me to login page we have not done that already so wait for it all right now let's just do register with google for now we'll do that later let's set up the login page for now okay so here is the login page and let's just simply go to let's close these and then let's just simply go to the login.jsx all right the same thing here we're gonna need to import some stuff first that is import i think i've done this right yeah that is needed now we have imported the auth instead of register we're gonna need sign in with google and uh, login with email and password sign in with google is already imported so we're gonna do this 
then what we're going to do is get an auth state import use auth state from react firebase hooks we're going to say use auth state from react firebase hooks all right hit save now this use auth state is what we are going to check for authentication like if the user is authenticated we are going to ch check it with this all right so let me just have use effect and use state we already have them so now let's create uh, the user using this use auth state all right so here what i'm going to say is const within this i'm going to get the user his state of loading and an error if there is any from use auth state within which i'm going to pass in my auth all right and now let's just use the use uh, effect not use state is going to be use effect i'm going to use the snippet and within this use effect what we're going to do is if it is loading then return or if the user is already here already here like the user is logged in earlier no need to log in again just take me to slash dashboard that is it now if the user is there it will take you to dashboard all right and for the function for the login button what we're gonna do is simple just say on click on click we need to call the function login with email and password and we need to provide the email and password which is stored in the use state hook right and for login with google what we are going to say is on click on click we are simply pass and sign in with google nothing else the same as we did with the register page that is it now we should be able to pass in the stuff and we uh, when someone clicks on forget password we're going to send him to slash reset component and don't have an account we're going to send him to slash register let's see what error it is can't resolve react firebase hooks so it is saying i he can't get react firebase hooks so let's see where this error is coming from login.jsx 852 use auth state everything is fine okay we need to get it from react firebase hooks slash auth all right now the error should be gone that is fine guys now we can log in here simply now the same thing this use auth state has already needs to be like implemented in the register page so that if the user has already registered we don't need we don't need him to register again right so i'm going to do the same stuff here within the register page as well so let's just copy this and let's just go within this register here let's just paste it and use the use effect hook here as well i'm going to use the use effect snippet tap tap remove this remove all this stuff and within the use effect the same function let's go here let's copy this paste it right that is it it's safe now one thing guys here we want it like as soon as the user changes reload it as soon as the loading state changes run the use effect hook again and it should be same in the login.js as well right so yeah it should be same like i want to check right if the user has changed check it again if the loading state has changed check it again so that next time it goes to slash dashboard that's why you're giving loading as well now hit save so the login register part is done all right the login register part is done what next let us test it once i have used our okay guys let's register with sign google first register with google click on it now i'm going to select one of my emails here 
and then after clicking on it i'm going to dashboard and let's check here if the user has loaded or not let me refresh this page so now we have two users right my new email is here right everything is fine now in the authentication part we should have two users as well yes you can see here the provider is google here the provider is email right so everything is working fine now we have already logged in so we have dashboard if i remove this dashboard and hit enter we should again come to dashboard see that is perfect now if i click on log out we can log out simply now let's set up the dashboard real quick i'm not gonna sell dashboard anyway so let's just get the data in the dashboard that is all i need to get here right so let's just get the auth first thing we need the authentication we don't need these functions within dashboard we're gonna say we're gonna get the database to get the name of the person or the user and uh, that is nothing else we need let's hit save and we need some function to fetch the user name and data from the firestore right so let's just import query query and then collection and then we need to have a function called get docs to get the documents and then aware to like for queries right from i'm gonna say firebase slash firestore firebase slash firestore all right now hit save we got the functions now again we need to import the use auth state and the navigations as well let's just copy this one and paste it in here so that we can navigate when user logs out and then we're going to use this react firebase hooks paste it here that is it now let's just uh, set up the dashboard so now within the dashboard i'm going to do the same thing that is this thing get the user loading and the status do this much and then we have the name right we have to set the name in the dashboard the name of the user should be coming here so what we are going to do is use a use state not here use a use state if i hit enter use state should be imported up top and then let's say use state snippet and let's just say set name and name now here let's just make it capital name and initially the name should be empty fine and then let's just define the navigation that is const navigate is equals to use navigate from react router dom and that is fine now to get the username we need to call a function which will get us the username right so let's create a function first let's say const fetch user name that is fine now this is going to be an asynchronous function which will not stop our component from rendering all right so within this function we're going to use try catch simple i'm going to say log error dot message and within this try i'm going to say const q which will which represents our query let's give it a query to fetch the data let's say we're going to pass the collection within the collection we're going to pass a database and then the users collection and after this we're going to pass the query which is going to be where within there where we're going to say where the uid the uid should be equal to the uid should be equal to user i'm going to say user dot uid but to make it much more proper i'm going to say user question mark why i'm going to say if user exists then go for uid else throw me an error all right now here what we're going to say get the doc from this query we in this line of code we have just defined a query not call the query so what we're going to say const doc is equals to await and get docs within this get docs we're going to pass in the query whatever docs match this query give me those docs right i'm going to say const data is equals to this doc dot 
give me all the docs within this docs i need only the first element the first doc and give me the its data and give me its data that is what i'm saying and after this i'll say set name to be this data dot name it will written some name and all other stuff all right you can log it and test it if you want you can you are free to do every types of experiment with your code right and that is fine fetch username is done now we need to define a use effect as well let's say use effect now it should be imported at top right and then i'm going to use the snippet within the snippet what we are going to do is the same thing we're going to call it when we have a user change in user change in loading state and all i'm going to copy it from the register as well just copy it paste it hit save fine now i need to do one more thing here this time right uh, i'm gonna say slash dashboard if the user like not like this i'm gonna say if it is loading return but if the user is not there i'm gonna say go to slash login it's just slash because i have not defined anything like slash login it's just slash go to slash if the user is not there that's it and if not just say fetch username that is it now this will give us the username now here what we are going to do is let's just remove everything for now what we're going to say is let's create a div with the name dashboard if later we want to sell let's just give random names but later we can see now here let's say div dot dashboard container all right within this div i'm gonna say logged in as now let's just give a div within this div let's just pass in the name that is it if the name is not there it will only it will be nothing and if the name is there it will show you the name and then another div we have where we will show the user email all right we're gonna say if the user exists show his email that is it fine after this we are going to define our button our logout button right let's just give it a class name let's say dashboard double underscore btn all right now within this button is going to say logout that is it and let's just give it an on click functionality on click we are going to call the logout function that is it now it should be fine right now you can see my name my email and i can click on logout here if i zoom it you can see right now i think we are left with one thing that is reset.jsx that is it now let's just quickly set it up as well now it's gonna be almost similar guys i'm gonna go for register copy this react firebase hook import go here let me just close these two things and we can just simply import it and then from here we can get the user loading in an error state and then just paste it here and then what we're gonna do is call the use effect which is gonna be same so I'm going to go here to register use effect just copy this thing control C control V use effect is already imported here if the loading is there written if the user is there navigate to slash dashboard that is it right now in this button what we are going to say is on click and on click what you have to do is call a function let's just say send password reset it will automatically import because um, my vs code does that i don't know if yours does that too just let me know right if yours just give the suggestions like awesome suggestions like this automatic automatic imports and all that stuff right we need to just pass in the email here and everything is fine now and uh, i guess that's it everything should be fine now let's just test our app there's an error auth is not defined where is auth where is auth guys where is auth 
it's in reset.gsx i can't find any auth hit anywhere here let's just do control f okay okay i got it we are using auth in here but we haven't imported it let's just come here let's just copy paste I only need auth nothing else so I'm gonna say save now that it should be gone now let's just test it guys are we ready to test it right let's go I'm gonna click on logout I'm gonna click on register I'm gonna register with Google a new user let's just say one of my other emails I created the user I'm logged in I refresh I get my name as well because it's an asynchronous function we'll get the name when the fetch username function has completely worked out right now if I click on logout now I have created one email let's just refresh it all right we should have three users now we have this email naruto at the rate gmail.com I'm gonna say naruto at the rate gmail.com add, add the password click on login I'm logged in again if I refresh the page I'll get it I'll get the data if I go to slash register I'm gonna navigate back to this if I go to slash I'm gonna come to this again like if I click on logout I'm gonna say forget password I'm gonna say email let's just say Ashish Nolana. 90 at the rate gmail.com let's just say send password reset email password reset email has been sent now let me just check my gmail for a sec so now you can see the password reset email right here so it is perfect guys now when you set up your project perfectly you will get proper names and all here so that it won't look something like this right now it looks like there is something bad going on like that right <laughs> so guys that is all we have done the authentication perfectly awesome everything's working perfect so that is it for this video